Hello, scientists. From Old Westbury Gardens. Are you ready to experiment today? Super! Tis the season for these fall fruits. But what exactly is this object? A pumpkin. Pumpkins are plant parts. They grow in the ground from a seed on a vine or a long stem and become fruits just in time for fall. But not all pumpkins are the same. They can be orange, white, green, yellow, large, medium, small. So many different varieties or types of pumpkins in the world. One thing we know for sure, pumpkins are fruits, like apples and mangoes. They have seeds inside, which when planted and cared for, help to grow more pumpkins. As scientists, we observe. Can you show me how you observe? Hmm. Hmm. But what does it mean to observe? When we observe, we use our five senses. We look, we listen, we smell, we touch, and sometimes taste. We investigate to learn more about something. Scientists experiment or test out new ideas to see how they can take their observations even further. Are you ready to get started, scientists? Great! What do you think is included in your Old Westbury Gardens pack? Let's find out together. Inside your bag you will find 1. Numbered ruler for measurement. A ruler is a scientist's tool. It helps you determine the size of an object. One sweet gumball or seed pod for a sweet gum tree. These spiky circles hold seeds for a giant tree. One pumpkin. Yes, a real fall pumpkin. Technically a gourd, these tiny fruits will help us observe nature closely. And one field guide. This guide is where you will write and draw your data. That's the information you learned this year. But first, be sure to write your name on the front. Looks like we have everything we need. Let's get observing. Hold your pumpkin in your hands. Think about what it feels like. Is it heavy and difficult to lift? Or can you easily pick your pumpkin up? Now observe your teachers or this pumpkin. Which pumpkin is bigger, yours or your teachers? Imagine you are holding this pumpkin. Do you think they weigh the same amount? Which weighs more? Which weighs less? Which do you think would be easier to lift? Whoa! The bigger pumpkin is definitely heavier than the tiny pumpkin. Now it's time to experiment, scientists. Are you ready? Your teacher has a container filled with water. Your teacher also has a larger, heavier pumpkin. What do you think will happen if the pumpkin is placed in the water? Will it float at the top or sink to the bottom? Hmm, let's take some guesses. Observe closely to see which educated guess was the correct one. On the count of three, we'll place this big pumpkin in the water. One, two, That's right, this large pumpkin floats. But why? To find out, we'll have to investigate inside the pumpkin. As mentioned, a pumpkin is a fruit. It has goop and seeds inside. But what else do you observe inside this pumpkin? Air. The air inside the pumpkin means it can float atop the water. Even though this pumpkin is very heavy, it is buoyant. Buoyancy is a science where when the pumpkin wants to push down due to gravity, the water pushes up to make it float. It's also about density. Pumpkins, although large, aren't very dense because they're mainly hollow inside. Despite the size, the air allows it to float. Wow, isn't science amazing? We learned so much today. Great work, scientists. Thanks so much for experimenting with Old Westbury Gardens. 
We hope to see you soon.